Well, the M760 Li X-Drive is not only the top of the range BMW 7 series, but also the top model in our entire BMW M and M uh, performance model portfolio. It has the strongest or the highest power output we've ever had in a series production BMW. We talk about 610 horsepower here, and it is also the fastest accelerating BMW series production model ever built, from 0 to 100 in just 3.7 seconds. Well, the specific M or M performance setting and uh, power enhancement, the agility and obviously the emotion stemming from the design differentiation or the sound are typical for M. So every major component being in the area of the drivetrain or chassis and suspension has been specifically tuned in an M or M performance specific way. Well, the differences are both in the area of looks and technical components. So for the BMW M760 Li X-Drive, you have the M aerodynamic package and all these cerium gray uh, painted or coated elements that make the car stand out from the rest of the 7 series model range. But besides, for the first time, we also have a V12 Excellence model that is based on the pure design excellence exterior and interior packages and does not have the sports exhaust system that you have if you go for the sporty version of the M760 Li. So we want to attract people who have particularly high demands when it comes to performance and visual appearance, i.e. luxury appearance. And obviously it's a global offer, but the key markets that we expect to see are the United States, China, the Middle East, and our home market, Germany, obviously will also be important. Well, the M drivers package as an option in those markets which offer it will allow the customer to go even faster in terms of uh, electronically uh, governed top speed. So we do not only talk about 250 kilometers here, but 305 kilometers per hour. Well, V12 is kind of the king or the pinnacle of engine development and it is still unique in terms of smoothness and obviously also in terms of sovereign uh, development of power. So it is really something that stands out from the entire model or engine range and attracts people who go for the special, the best they can get. It's great. Uh, I like because you have a 7 Series and an M car in the same car. So if you drive like in comfort settings, you get all the feeling, all this comfort which you would expect from a 7 Series, nice, soft car. And then you press the sport button, you put the gearbox into sport mode and the car gets alive. And then you understand that underneath a 7 Series there is a M DNA. And uh, you can even in a racetrack, you can drive the car, you can have fun, you can go fast, you can even drift a little bit. The car, it is definitely a fantastic machine. It's crazy because you see uh, from outside, and there's a little bit of impression we got from like most of the journalists, they see a big car, they see a 7 Series, a long wheelbase 7 Series, which you would expect that it will never fit into a racetrack. And then you go out there and then you find a very extremely agile car due to the turning rear wheels with the electronic roll bars. And the car feels so small, so handy, but you're driving a 7 Series. So I have to say BMW once again did a, a phenomenal job. Car is, is perfect. You have power to have fun at the racetrack. A lot of torque to travel on the highway in a very relaxed way and enough space for your wife to go shopping. I, I would use, I have already at home a 750, uh, which would be replaced very soon to a 760. I think it's a car where it is perfect for cruising. Uh, having a V12, you have a lot of torque. So, in a highway, when you're on a, a traveling, you don't need to keep shifting up and down. With the turbocharger and the V12, the car has a lot of torque, so it accelerates very well. And uh, enough place for your wife to do the shopping, and also enough power to have fun at the racetrack. Well, as being a race car driver, I'm a big fan of the V12 engine, of course, uh, mainly because a lot of power, a lot of torque, but I would say the combination. It is a car which somehow fits into different customers and different usages. So uh, it is difficult for me to, to highlight uh, you know, a feature on this car.